actually uh, installing our 131 full court press. We also will run this in the half court. That'll be another video. Um, but this one is focusing on putting full court pressure on um, the offensive players, okay? So again, it's a one, three, and a one. Um, ignore that this is a, a, a power forward or a forward and this is a guard. Basically, these two guys are probably going to be our most energetic on-ball defenders, our on-ball defenders that have you know the best skill at defending the basketball, okay? Um, what we want to do in a 1-3-1 one, one trap is we want to push the basketball, okay, to these corners here, okay? We never, under any circumstances, want passes to come into the center here. Um, let's say that the ball does, um, or there's passes that come into this area here. This guy's main focus is picking off any uh, any basketballs that are thrown into this area here, almost like a little V shape here, but also if any leakage comes out, trying to force the basketball again to the corners and allowing this guard to recover, okay? That's his main focus. These guys on the wings here, are, are their main focus is to trap ball in these areas here, little box here, 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 and same thing here, 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 okay? When we're in full court press, it's aggressive so you want to make sure as soon as this basketball gets into this area even if it's like here we are putting hard pressure on them right also this guy is our last line of defense and he is doing the same thing that this middle guy is doing he's in this kind of v formation where he's either um, uh, taking care of any leakage and trying to push the basketball back to the sides um, but also his main responsibility is protecting the rim, right? So that's his main responsibility. But if there are passes that are coming into this area, I want this guy to be aggressive and trying to intercept those passes, okay? Um, this guy here, he is the most important guy in a 1-3-1 one, one trap. Uh, under no circumstances can this guy allow these guards to get into the center of the basketball court they have to go to the wings, okay? So this means you have to be energetic and you need to make sure that you're following the basketball. And we're gonna go over that right now, what I mean by that. Okay, you're gonna see the ball inbounded, okay, to the point guard. As soon as this ball is inbounded, you're not gonna play him straight up, okay? This defender is going to make sure that he's on this side of the offensive player and that he's trying to push him this way, okay? You're going to see immediately this guard knows that, you know, and that he's going to get trapped pretty soon here. So he's going to kick the ball back to this player here. Okay. No matter where this ball goes, this guard is going to follow and attempt to push the ball to the side. So meaning that, and this guy's a little bit off of position, but you want to be here so that he can't get into the center of the court and making sure that you're forcing him to the side. Okay. So you're gonna see this scenario, this guard is doing his job, he's getting pushed to the side, and now we know that this guy should be creeping up to trap. We wanna trap in this area here. But in this scenario, this guy is going to kick the ball back, okay? The guard is gonna follow, okay? He's just gonna show here. He's not going to commit to the center here. If the ball's in the center, you never commit. What I mean by show is you're gonna show as if you're going to uh, stop ball here, right? And just to make sure that this defender doesn't take the ball straight down the court and um, down the middle. And if he passes the ball, you're gonna get on this guy's hip and push him this way. Let's say this guard for some reason decides that he's gonna dribble. It's the same concept. This guard then is, if this guard gets aggressive and he's coming into this area here, this point guard is gonna put pressure on him on his hip to push him this way. In this scenario, that guy's gonna kick the ball to this guard. Again, this guard is gonna put pressure on the hip, try to force him this way. Okay, the ball goes gets reversed back again. You see everyone kind of tilting. Okay, now the ball gets thrown here. We need to be aggressive, right? We're trying to trap in this area. So the ball gets thrown here, we're trapping hard. This pass will be open here, right? And we're gonna tilt a little bit. We're gonna have these guys kind of move over this way to try and um, to uh, not allow this pass to happen, but this is an open pass here. So this guard needs to make sure 
under no circumstances that this pass comes here, okay? So you want to pass the ball there and make sure that you're trapping in the corner. Okay? If the ball rotates back, it's the same thing. You're showing here in the center, unless this guard is aggressive. If the pass comes here, he's on the hip. Now this guy would be trapping, okay? This guy, again, trying to take any leakage. If a guard gets into the center here, you're just trying to push him this way and allowing time for this guard to recover. And the center, again, same thing. You're in a V formation where you're trying to catch any leakage, but also any passes that come into your V here, you are trying to intercept. 